I was really looking forward to hanging out with Tom today, but he changed his mind to go fishing. When a friend breaks a promise, it can make you feel really bad. Guess what? You're listening to the one and only Keys for Kids. I'm Zach. Have you ever had someone break a promise to you? When that happens, you might feel sad or you might even get angry. But when you do, just remember there's someone who will never break his promise. Can you guess who it is? The New Testament writer of Hebrews put it this way in Hebrews 13.8 when he said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our story today is called Seesaw Ride. I'm flying, exclaimed Kyle as he gripped the handle of the rising seesaw. My turn, announced his sister Kendra. She pushed her feet against the packed earth, sending herself upward while Kyle returned to ground level. You look happier than you did this morning, Kendra said. Kyle's smile faded a little. I was disappointed when Tom didn't want to play today. He dug his heels into the dirt and rested there. He promised me yesterday he'd come over so I could try out his new video game, but this morning he decided to go fishing with his dad, so... So he broke his promise, said Kendra, swinging her dangling legs. Kyle nodded, looking a little glum. Tom changes his mind a lot. Hey, don't leave me up here, exclaimed Kendra. Kyle released his weight and they fell into their familiar rhythm. You know, Kyle, friends support each other, sort of like riding a seesaw. If I got off, you'd fall with a big thump. And that's what Tom did today. He let you down when he didn't keep his word. I thought my day was ruined until you said you'd go to the park with me, said Kyle. I can't always count on Tom, but I'm glad I can count on you. You know who else you can count on? asked Kendra. Mom and Dad? Yes, but I was thinking of Jesus. He doesn't change his mind or break his promises, even if we sometimes break our promise to follow his commandments. He's dependable even though we may not be. And he promises to forgive us when we make mistakes. So, should I forgive Tom? Kendra nodded. If you want to play with him, maybe having a backup plan would be a good idea in case he changes his mind again. Kyle smiled. I want to get off for a minute. Kendra stopped the seesaw in the middle to keep both sides balanced as Kyle left his seat. He sauntered towards his sister and gave her a hug. Thanks for being my backup plan today. So, how about you? Has a friend or family member ever changed their mind or broken a promise to you? It's natural to feel disappointed when someone lets you down. When your feelings are hurt, remember to turn to Jesus. He promises to love you and he'll never change. You can always count on him. Our key verse is found in the New Testament book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And our key thought, you can count on Jesus. Hey, Zach, how does God give us talent? Hi, Hudson. Thanks for sending me your question. God gives us talent in a lot of ways. Sometimes it's something that you're naturally gifted to do, like drawing or singing. Other times it's something you might be very interested in, but it takes some time to get better, like playing an instrument or fixing things. Sometimes your talent even comes from your parents. For example, I used to watch my dad fix cars, and then he showed me how to do it, and now it's something that I'm pretty good at too. No matter how you received your talent, remember this, it's a gift from God. 1 Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you've received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So, think about it. What's your talent? I'm Zach. 